Hey guys, and welcome back to Colony Wars. Uh, in the time that I've been away from the last video, which for me was about 20 minutes, interesting things have happened. I have discovered that there's actually an ongoing fan remake project for this game called Colony Wars Redux. And they're remaking this game, the second game, and the third game. No, they're not remaking the third game. They have made their own... Colony Wars 4. Um, they're trying to get traction at the moment and trying to hopefully get enough um, people to notice them that Sony will let them use the license so they can take it to Kickstarter. Uh, the videos that they have up on their face uh, Facebook, the videos that they have up on their YouTube look very, very promising. Uh, the game looks really nice and they're they're completely building this from the ground up um, very interesting stuff so colony wars redux very cool anyway let's continue it is becoming clear that without certain items of intelligence our threat to draco is limited as we now have possession of a navy cruiser we are able to attempt the retrieval of this information it is the Navy's intention to hold a funeral marking the death of a high-level officer. Our captured cruiser will join the funeral convoy before breaking the line and employing a tractor beam to retrieve the body once it is fired into space. The silicon data banks located within the corpse's skull can then be decrypted. The captured cruiser must be defended. As once his identity is known, Extreme Navy aggression is likely. Due to the clandestine nature of this operation, shielded broadcast beams only must be employed. You are assigned a captured Navy interceptor for this mission. Good luck. So, we've got a T-45 Thunderchild. Okay, I mean, that's roughly equivalent to a um, Dark Angel, so... All right, bit of a uh, bit of under the radar stuff here. Interesting. Now we actually get to fly uh, Navy craft in a couple of missions, I believe. Or maybe it is just this one, but I'm pretty sure it happens a couple of times. So we've got to go dig this uh, dig this guy's brains. Interesting. Okay, so there is our captured cruiser. It must survive, and there's the Navy command craft. Let's go. You can see capital ships are so much faster. And we have that rather nice looking wormhole there, which is a little bit worrisome. Navy Earth escape pod. His body onto the wastes of space, lest his spirit never come to rest. Oh, we've got a lot of storm lords. Right. Okay, let's go for this. Now, let's see what damage we can do here. See if we can take this thing out. Navy command craft, come on, you bastard. Come on, pop, 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 pop. There we go. She's gone. Try and do as much damage as. Oh shit! One second, guys. Right, let's go. That's bad. That's really bad. Auto ejection procedure successful. Oof. We failed. I think that's because... Is that because I destroyed the main... Cruiser? That was not great. Right. The increasing rate that was of infiltration bad. by powerful Navy hardware suggests that enemy supply routes have been established beyond Draco. 
Intelligence reports indicate that limited warnings have been circulated to a number of key Imperial command centers. Previously unrecorded weaponry is now being encountered. Incoming pulses received from League Space Station 73.4 verify an immediate threat from a Navy destroyer using unidentified tactical beam weapons. Mm. Strike cannons will be used against the destroyer. However, the cannons must first be transferred to the correct location. Provide support cover to units moving the strike cannons. Ensure that the cannons are protected, enabling them to successfully engage the enemy craft. Okay, so yeah, we failed that last one. I, I'm not entirely sure what went wrong. Um, okay, so let's go protect some cannons. Um, I'm pretty sure we're not meant to fail that mission. I know um, Colony Wars, you know, you can fail missions and whatnot. It's all part of the gameplay experience, but I'm not sure. I think we probably shouldn't have destroyed the capsule ship. You got it. Scatter gun. Alright, so what have we got coming in? Should hopefully be nothing. Uh, oh, we got T29 Stormlords. Ooh. Okay. We need a win here. We really, really need to win here. Looks like there's a lot of our guys. Which is nice. So we've got the T9. Oh, really? Oh, uh, we'll take the T9. Come on. Oh, that scatter gun is just amazingly cool. Alright, good enough. And here we have that amazing Colony Wars music. Now, I looked up the uh, some information and I, <laughs> I'd forgotten who they were. I think it was Cold Chamber. They're the ones that did the music for this game. Something like that. Right, let's go. Unfortunately... Oh no! They do way too much damage. Come on. Let's get that Stormlord. Get that Stormlord. No, it's not the torpedo we want. Oh, this is going really badly here. Oh, that's what we like. That was actually a really nice kill. Right, we want the AS missiles, just in case. Not that I want to waste an AS missile on that thing. So, who's next? we got some Dark Angels here with us. That's cool. I think it's just the one Dark Angel. Now, who's this Strike thing? Will be in position in four minutes, 30 seconds. Four minutes, 30 seconds. That's not great. It's the Storm Lords that we need to deal with. That's the tornado. Yeah, bugger. Strike cannons under attack. Well, we'll take this guy out. And then we'll head back. Yeah, there's the Storm Lord. We need to take you out. Oh, that's good. There we go. Vaporized his ass. T29, where's that? Alright, T29's jumping in down here. Let's go take him out. I don't think there's any particular way where you can... Um, select target in this game. I think you just automatically kind of lock onto the closest target. I think that's how it works. Not 100% sure. Oh, they just punish them. Oh my god. Absolutely punish. Oh, bloody um, guns there. Come on. Come on. Come on. And we're out of missiles too. Which is not great. We do have the grapple gun though. Which is interesting. Ooh. Oh dear. Oh dear. That's not good. That's really not good. 
Hopefully this navy destroyer can go. Come on, baby. Come on. Come on. Come on. Let's take you down. She's going. She's going. Good stuff. Good stuff. Well, that was a very quick four minutes, but I'll take it. Oof, that was intense. I was not overly confident with that one. So that's another victory to us. We really need to hope that that failure didn't derail our victory too much. We didn't lose anything there, apparently. Okay. Happy with that. We haven't ranked up yet either. Incoming reports detail major successes against Imperial manufacturing bases. Nice. The Navy presence has subsequently decreased as emergency repair units are fully engaged on sabotaged industrial units. Tactical support projections suggest that League victory within Draco is now possible. Nice. However, Navy command units are being encountered, suggesting further resistance. Scanning reveals a Navy command craft in the region of a new League starport. It is surmised that high-ranking military personnel are on board. Removal of this craft could seriously damage the effectiveness of the Navy's chain of command. Sounds good. You are required to intercept and destroy this command craft. You got it. Let's go. And we've got our demon as well, which is nice. Uh, I totally forgot actually how early on you got the decent craft. I really thought it was later on in the game. <laughs> right, let's go. Yeah, yeah. I'm guessing it's probably quite well supported. So I'm going to beeline straight to it. We're going to try and paralyze it. You can see the Navy craft are definitely inspired by Star Trek, without a doubt. Which is fine, you know. That's how these things generally go. Massive great big saucer sections. Almost there. We're going to paralyze this thing. And then we're going to worry about taking it out. And nice. That'll do. That'll do nicely. Ah, we're getting knocked around here a little bit. That's fine. Oh God, that's what happened to us before. Three minutes. <laughs> Have a nice day. Yeah, look who's talking, pal. You're just about to be lit up. Ooh. Good night. <laughs> Have a nice day indeed, chump. Another nice little victory for the league. So I think... Ah, that's interesting. I wonder if we had to destroy a specific ship. That might have been what it was about in that previous failed mission. Hey, and there we go. We only did one... Well, we only took out one thing there, but it was a big thing, so that's all that matters. Uh, right, we can save the game. Not sure if we want to save the game, though. Maybe we'll save it under a different one. Just because. I think you actually unlock, uh, unlock a big map at the end, and you can replay... Um, any level and it shows you all the different branching forks so maybe 
maybe would be okay. Can't really remember. Or I might be thinking the second game. Okay, let's back out. Let's go. Oh. <laughs> Brilliant. Right, of course. One second, guys. Actually, I don't even think I, I will need to cut this out, will I? Because if we go there... Uh, current state was saved, yes. And then we click resume. And then we go change disk. From games list. There we go. These were the nice. sights and sounds of history changing and shifting. Suddenly the League of Free Worlds was closing in on Sol, the home of our enemies. We'd seen simulations of the system, but most of us had never dreamt of ever being there. Now we were closing in on it, the birthplace of it all. The collapse of Draco was a spectacle I'll never forget. In those split seconds after victory was won, I thought the stars were parting to let us through. Now that's a big freaking gun. The breaching of the Soul System warp hole by the League Assault Fleet is imminent. Preparations for heavy engagement are in progress. Ammunition and craft support resources are now at maximum levels. All intelligence support units are operational. Relevant data will follow. Incoming scans reveal a minefield triggered by siren weapons on the Soul side of the warp hole. Fleet velocities and deployment levels prohibit the cancellation of this assault. The siren weapons must therefore be removed in advance of the fleet's emergence from the warp hole. Enter the warp hole and destroy the siren weapons before the League fleet is caught by the minefield. Oof. Be aware that failure to disable this minefield will result in the loss of the attack spearhead. Yeah, that would be bad. Okay, so we were... Ah, oh, we're back in the vampire. Because apparently we need speed. I remember this mission uh, actually was quite hard at times. I can't believe we're already in Seoul. Uh, okay. We're doing better than I thought we were. Interesting. But then, you know, I, the campaign of this game isn't super long. Uh, but there's lots of different endings and whatnot. Okay, let's go. Take out these this sirens. Estimated arrival of dreadnought in three minutes. Sirens must be cleared at this time. Okay, well, we're certainly going to do what we can. Ow. Ow. How do we take the sirens out? Yeah, I noticed. Ah, oh, right, okay. Is me using the wrong weapons. Because these things don't have shields, apparently. Or apparently they do. Just fairly small shields. I guess. There we go. Right, let's just clear these out one at a time. Uh, this isn't looking good, though. Not going to lie. We've taken a hell of a lot of uh, a beating here. Yeah, uh, okay. One minute. You know, it would have definitely been better if you'd given us uh, something with a bit more speed. Just saying, guys. I also think the, uh, the clock in this game seems to tick through a bit too quick. Or is that just me? Might just be me. Right, we've got most of them. We are heavily damaged, though. Thunderchild launching. That's not brilliant. And we're almost dead. Oh, damn. Stun missiles. That We only have stun missiles. We're dead. We're dead. Game over, man. 
Game over. Yeah, we kind of fucked that up ourselves. Damn. I might actually load the game because I want to try and get the good ending first. Ugh, that was bad. Let's load. Options. Memory card options. That's what we want. Let's load that again. Oh, shit. We can't. Because the memory card's not... Ah, fuck. Should see. Should have used save states. Alright, well... <laughs> Bugger. One second, guys. Let me have a fiddle with this. Okay, so I've fiddled with my memory cards, and fingers crossed they should be working properly now, I think. Yeah, I had it set up so every disc that uh, gets put in, or every unique disc that gets put in, uh, opens up a brand new memory card. And my thought Estimated arrival of process for that was must be cleared in this time. that would make it uh, nice and easy. Always going to have memory cards, blah, blah, blah. Always going to have memory cards and space free for games. But obviously, didn't work that well. <laughs> so, yeah, reevaluating that decision. Okay, but I think it should be fine now. Because I don't mind using stage dates, but I kind of like to use the memory cards, you know. like to play the games the way they were meant to be played. Right, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Must go faster, must go faster, must go faster, must go faster. Don't want to get too close to these things either, because of that. Oh, they hurt. They really hurt. Okay. Let's get this anti-shield laser. I'm not sure what sort of range that, that laser... Right, shields down. Come on. There we go, he's gone. Very difficult to do uh, evasive maneuvers in this game. We don't want the Thunder Child. Completely lost where I am. That's not good. That's really not good. Okay. I don't know how much range these lasers actually have either, to be honest. Not enough range. Come on. Come on, come on, gone. Got him. Yep, he's gone. Right, where's the next one? Where's the next one? Only two left, cool. Or three left, I think. That's fine, we can handle three. Come on. A little bit more. He's gone. We should be doing okay here. Don't want to get too close. Navy siren destroyed. Come on, baby. Come on. He's done. I think this should be the last one. I say should. I'm trying to be optimistic. I'm almost done myself, so... Oh no! No! Oh my god! That's so hard. That is so hard. Because your ship is so weak. Bugger. Debriefing. So... Navy fleet. Did we actually... Does that count as us winning? Did we just get that win? Well, let's continue. Transmissions confirm the successful breach of the Soul Warp. Oh, we just got However, that. The Spearhead Assault Fleet in the system is known to be in disarray. Reported fleet damage is yet to be fully ascertained. Emergency relief craft have been commissioned. Navy buildup is also increasing. Not sure if we... Isolated league craft are known to be requiring urgent repair and protection from further attack. 
Not sure if we've made a that. A severely one. damaged dreadnought in the Pluto zone has released a number of escape pods and is now awaiting military and medical assistance. Engage all hostile craft. Defend this dreadnought and its escape craft. League resources are now depleted and vulnerable. Ensure the craft are safe until help can be dispatched. Right, let's go. Let's see if we can't kick an arse or two. Had a couple of technical issues this video, so this video might be chopped up a little bit, but hopefully we'll be okay. Well, at least we've got a decent ship. I do like the demon. <clears throat> this thing's pretty rad. So we've got to protect some ships. Okay, sounds simple enough. This is command. There's a medicraft en route to your area. Estimated time of arrival, three minutes. Defend Dreadnought and escape pods from enemy attack until medicraft arrives. All right, you got it. Let's go. Have been detected. Yep. This is going to get rough. This is going to get very rough. And it looks like our friend is going to get hammered. As both these T9s are going for him. But that's okay. We don't care about the other fighter. Oh, God. Something just went up. I think it was our friend. Alright, let's try and handle these guys. I'm pretty sure we're going to get something a little bit bigger than a T9. Coming our way. Yeah, there we go. T29 Storm Lords jumping in. Not great. Uh, not going to lie. Definitely not great. Definitely don't want the torpedo. Anti-shield missile. Right, let's see what we can do. Let's see what we can do. He's going to go behind. Of course you are. Well, or you're just going to clip through. One of the two. I think I just did a shit ton of damage to the shield there. Wow. That guy took a bit of an ass kicking. Alright. Let's see what we can do. Come on. Let's get you tracked up. You don't need that shield, sunshine. You don't need that shield. It looks like the anti-shield missile doesn't quite take their shields down. Look at it. Estimated in one minute. Good. Enemy threat from area before arrival of craft. I'm trying. I'm trying. But they've already got the shields down of this destroyer, which is not fantastic. Come on. Come on, baby. Come on. A little bit more. Your dust. What's coming in now? Motion missiles. Oh, God. We've got blizzards opening. Oh, this ain't great. This is not good. Right, let's get these. Hopefully. Let's do a little bit of damage. What have we got left? Motion missile. That's okay. I'd rather soak up a hit or two instead of the cruiser. Oh, son of a bitch. Fake me out with a flare. This is Mezzy X89. We have a detected an enemy presence in the vicinity. You must destroy all enemy craft. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're, we're on it. We're on it. We're on it. We're on it. Oof. How are we doing? How are we doing? Oh, hey. Hi. Hello. That's not good. That's really not good. Um, we might be in for some chop here, guys. See what we can do exactly. See if we can EMP this thing. Otherwise, our cruiser's going to go up. And there ain't a huge amount we can do about it. Okay, disabled, disabled. Might have just caught that in time. Let's get this thing disabled. Come on, baby. Navy cruiser. 
Right, permanent damage. Let's go take this thing out. That was seriously sketchy. Right, let's pop this fucker and get out of here. We must have come down to the wire there. How much health did we have left? He had one bar of health left. Oof. That was intense. We needed that win. Oh, man. Dreadnought. Why does it call it a cruiser when... On our HUD, when it's apparently a Dreadnought? Still... That was as close as it gets, boys and girls. One slither of health left. Oof. And we're still a crusader. Right, what we're going to do here, guys, we're going to end the video. Because I need to stitch this on to the last one. And then possibly our final video, actually. We'll see how it goes. Uh, well, not our final video. Because I kind of want to show all the other cutscenes as well. But I don't know whether I'm just going to show the cinematics or, or what. We'll see. Anyway, till then guys, thanks for watching.